Hey there, welcome back to Let's Talk by George. And in today's video, we are going to test a row. Yep, that's right. Um, well, the screen is in front of you, and let's launch some applications. Wow, look at the smooth launching. Very nice. Yep, so that's great. You may get an idea which ROM we are talking about. We are talking about the latest Octavi unofficial 3.3 ROM and the ROM which we are testing is the GApps version of the ROM. So let's begin our journey. Well, as we all know that Octavi is famous for their own customization in ROMs. So um, let's go to the Android version and see what information we can get this is the 3.3 octavi os version and it is the unofficial version and you can see that the kernel used here is 4.19.157 pure ca pure calf plus that is about the system information now we may all know octavi os from android 11 they came out with cool new features uh, new user interface and even with a oxygen dialer the gapps version of this particular rom is getting the oxygen os dialer from octavio os which is really cool and wonderful so that is about the initial customization impression now moving further up you can see that you get colored status bar icons on status bar that's really cool i believe um, octavi spark and uh, project Ar arcane do have colored status bar icons i haven't uh, tested any other chrome with the colored status bar icons if there are please um, just leave it as it is okay so let's see the quick settings as you can see the quick settings it has a different user interface than of the regular settings you can see how the date and battery percentage are being arranged they are in a pill shaped form so that's really great and you get um, different brightness slider with automatic brightness icon over here okay so let's go to the settings page well uh, the settings page we cannot say that there is a lot of improvement or a lot of changes but still the user interface is quite different you can see uh, the icons has been changed to the right hand side and uh, it has been replaced well i believe they are using the same icons from the android 11 so um well I don't think that I need to go through each and every settings because we all are familiar with the settings. So let us take a look at the Octavi lab where we can find some customization. Let us begin with the status bar. Now in status bar, first thing that you will get is status bar icon. Uh, enable and disable whatever you want. And the second thing is you get an option for customizing the clock and date settings. Then third thing is battery settings and uh, you get some battery styles too. So that is really great. So you get custom uh, icons over here, quite a many. So that is really cool to have it. So even if you can arrange the percentage aside, how you want to arrange the percentage where you want the percentage to be displayed, that is really great then you get network traffic indicator and uh, you get some options with it yeah so campaign upload plus, plus download so you get some options to customize it also then coming back is the carrier label so if you want to disable it definitely you can disable it there is nothing much to show you then you get a custom notification count if you want a notification count to be dis uh, to be uh, seen definitely you can do that i don't think it will be a good idea if you have enabled uh, colored status bar icons i don't think it's a good idea um, regarding the notification icons then you get volite icon you let uh, you get quite a lot of um, volite icon uh, custom volite icons over here that is also really great and even you can adjust the status bar padding too that's kind of cool and the second thing that you are getting is quick settings let's take a look what quick settings customization options do we have well as usual you just get same uh, quick settings customization options as like as in other roms then is the notifications
then you get the notifications and uh, down here you get the octavi theming you can customize the want customization if you want to use custom colors differently you can do that you can you get a color picker and you get the hex code and uh, you customize it so let's try to customize it and uh, see okay that is not applying let's have a look if we can try to find something yep so yeah there you go that's great or that's good okay let me come back and you get font options Wow, honda font let's have a look how oh. <laughs> honda font you get a lot of uh, fonts over here so you can select your own font whichever you like you can use that and you get custom icon packs you can customize the signal icons if you want so we are going to select xperia and you can see it has been changed in the status bar that's really wonderful then you get the volume panel customization then navigation menu then gestures you have if you want i mean just gestures is just uh, double tap to um sleep on status bar or lock screen nothing more than that and power menu then finally um, lock screen so you can customize the lock screen shortcuts from here visualizers and the last one is miscellaneous as you can see miscellaneous there isn't much customization in there but you can disable or enable a couple of things like a data disable icon roaming indicator or uh, call strength then toast up icon well overall the rom is really cool to use now you get quite a lot of customization with octavio os we cannot say that it has very huge customization like uh, android 11 but yes um, android tool sources are just up so they are in process of adding new features um, well the rom looks really cool and the rom is pretty much smooth to use um i cannot any talk about anything about um, uh, like battery backup and all because i haven't used the rom for um, long time so i'm just making the review of the rom so maybe it has some good battery backup and stuff like that so finally let's see what all system navigation thing we have whether we can yeah you can disable the uh, navigation pill or the um, you can enable full screen gestures under system navigation um, guys the rom is really cool and if you wish to use the rom yeah it's a great rom to use and octavi is always on the lead of providing extra customization and uh, giving you very cool user interface too once again i would like to thank you for watching let's talk by george and please make sure you stay subscribed to the channel so that you won't miss any updates